And coming up... The workers were looking at your underwear? Your Honor, I came back from the laundry room, and my drawer had been opened, and there was a pair of my underwear sitting on the counter. Closed captioning provided by... Posey Clifton is suing her landlord, Sean Dwarty, in the amount of $864 for a rental deposit she says he refuses to return. All right, Ms. Clifton, you want this court to award you money. You initially left the deposit for $1,000. Yes, sir. You got back $135.38. That's correct. And you want your other $800 and change. Yes. Why do you think you should get that money? Because it was in the contract. Talk to me about the contract. You mean you all had some sort of a lease to lease landlord tenant month agreement? Month to month. It was a month to month lease. Yes. How long had you been at the property? I was there for six years with no problem. Six years, Mr. Duarte. Uh, she was there the whole six years. I just about yes. Did she pay her rent on time? Yes. So yes she was she an did. excellent tenant. Uh, it's a good tenant. How much was the rent per month? It was seven fifty. Was it seven fifty the entire six years? Yes. Is that true, ma'am? Yes, sir. All right. In the six years that Miss Clifton lived there, did you do any repairs to the property? Yeah, we did repairs. But no, it, Your but Honor. We planning, we Tell me about some of the repairs. Just you renovate did. the whole building. What we sort were. of repairs did you do over the six-year period that she resided there? We did some carpet. Did you replace her carpet during the six years? I'm asking him. Put your hand down. We did once. We did once. Once. Is that true? Before I moved in, sir. All right. So when you first came in, you had new carpet. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Any particular reason why you stayed so long? Because it was quiet. I you did a lot of the work myself. Like what? Like uh, I cleaned, painted, um, fixed hinges. That's only because she has a couple of cats, and you know they tend to destroy a little bit the property. Did you have cats? Yes, sir. How many? I had three cats. Three. Were you aware that she had three cats? Uh, yes. Did she have the three cats the entire duration of her six years yes, stay she did. there? You didn't have a problem with that. No, no, no. Did because you charge like her an said, extra fee right. for a pet? No, no. That's why I didn't charge her an extra because she would take care of that. That right. would be so kind of like the extra fee. So she fee. was very responsible when it came to her right. pets. Right. She would take right. care of that. But see, now she's claiming that she had to fix it. Well, yeah, because your cats were destroying the All right. The but property. neither of you had a problem with the relationship. No. no we sir. were doing So well. what happened to cause the a relationship to go awry? Because... The workers were in my apartment for over a week. Your Honor, I came back from the laundry room, and my drawer had been opened, and there was a pair of my underwear sitting on the counter. And I told him about it, and he said that I could move into a different apartment. That one incident where someone... No, there was more than that. Well, what was the other things that happened? My Impala, because it's in an L shape. I park it right there, and they all par all the workers parked right here. Yes. So I park it, I go up, and I come back down, and there's a dent in my car. There was the issue with the Impala. There was the issue with your underwear. My CDs. What about your CDs? Like 20 of my CDs are gone. They were inside the apartment? Yes, sir. And now you can't find them? I can't find them. And these workers were coming in and out of your in apartment? In and out of my apartment. And while they were coming in and out of your apartment, where were you? I was there almost the whole time, but I, did, I went down to the laundry room like maybe three times. Do you have any proof of I that? I don't have any proof, okay, but I'm not that's a problem. That. Coming up on America's Court. Trash was left behind in the living room. Bottom cabinets and kitchen were unhinged. All right, you list these things, but you don't have an itemization in terms of what the cost was per each of them. No, I, I didn't. That's a problem. Closed captioning provided by... This is America's Court with Judge Ross. We're back with the case of Posey Clifton, who is suing landlord Sean Duarte for the return of a rental deposit. You gave her monies back, but you didn't give her her $1,000 deposit. No. Why not? Okay, she moved from, she wanted to move from one apartment. The, and I told her, if you stay in this apartment, your, your rent's going to be the same. It's not going to change. But she said that the noise bothered her. That what noise? Because she, she moved from one unit to another. What noise? Uh, from the construction working that was being done. The workers that were being there. Right, right. And you said, if you move to this new apartment... No, it's going she to... said, I, can I move to another, another right. unit? Right, and you said... And I said, if you move to another unit, I'm going to have to raise the rent because... How much more did you raise the rent from? Excuse me? How much more did you raise the rent? Uh, 125. And you agreed to that? No, I didn't. If All she right. went to the other apartment... Did you go to the other apartment? Stay? I didn't agree to Did pay. you go to the yes, other sir. apartment? Yes, sir. All right, did you pay additional rent? No, sir. All right. Is that true? She didn't pay the additional rent? No, because she gave me a 30-day notice she was going to move out. How long and did she stay in the second apartment? Uh, for about a month. That's, that, so when month. she moved into the <clears throat> second apartment, 
she gave you 30 days notice. Right. She didn't pay you the additional monies. No. All right. And so you stayed there for a month, and then you completely left. Yes, Your Honor. And you wanted your $1,000 back. Why didn't you give her her $1,000 back? Was there something wrong when she was in the apartment for six years? Right. The, the, the second one where she moved into. The first apartment. The first one was fine. For, for, it was fine. Right. And so I transferred. had I, she just left <clears throat> from that apartment? Would she have gotten her full one thousand? Yes, back? yes, because I transferred that deposit money. I transferred it over to the second okay. apartment. Because, and so she was in the, was fine. the second apartment for how long? She was there for about a month. And for a month, after that month, you deducted eight hundred sixty-four dollars and sixty-two cents. Apparently, she got upset because of the race, racing of the rent, and 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 there was cat litter all over the place. It it stunk really bad. There was a uh, a window that was cracked. Let me see. Yeah. Give me all your evidence. Give me your evidence. Uh, Deputy Thomas, we need, we need everybody's yeah, evidence right now. The, this is Just give me I, everything. My list of damages. And, and while you're at it, uh, you can, let's get her uh, evidence as well. Yes, sir. Let's change our list of damages Thank also. you. All right. So you, what is this? I see a broke, what is this broke? Cracked window. Was the window cracked? You know what, Your Honor? It wasn't as cracked as it is in that That's picture. That's a yes. All right. Bathroom doorknob missing. Pet stains and odor. Yes. Broken bedroom window. Yes. Burned candle wax on yes. the mantel. Garbage disposal was dismantled. Trash was left behind in the living room. Bottom cabinets and kitchen were unhinged. All right, you list these things, but you don't have an itemization in terms of what the cost was per each of them. No, I, I didn't. That's a problem. All right, what do you, what do you have here for me? Oh I have a God, copy you of my deposit check. All right, you gave him $1,000. Initially, I see that. This is what you got back, 135 mm -hmm. 38 so you're saying you want the other remaining because you shouldn't have to be penalized for all these damages. Yeah, and he charged me 250 for subletting, and I never subletted the apartment. Is that true? Uh, she had a lot of people coming in and out. Did she sublet? Uh, I, yeah, I guess she, she was did. only in the place for a month. <laughs> No, nah, the other one we're talking about. You, the didn't, other you one. said everything was fine. You just transferred. No, yeah, it I, I, I <laughs> let it go. I just let it go. But then you know mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. happened. No, no, no. This is the agreement. Got that? What is this? Ten top. Uh, ask questions between landlords and tenants, and you have these things highlighted. You have highlighted here you're supposed to return the security deposit to the tenant and furnish a copy of the itemized statements indicating the amount. This website is legitimate, and she is absolutely right. You're not just supposed to list the things. You're supposed uh -huh. to itemize the amount. Okay. You didn't do that. Secondly, you're supposed to perform a walkthrough two weeks prior. Again, correct. Did you do a walkthrough two weeks prior? Uh, no. Okay, that's a problem. You must give 30 days notice if the rent increase is 10%. How much was the rent? It was 750. That would have been $75. You said you raised it to what? 125. That's over 10%. You're supposed to give 60 days advance notice. Did you do that? No. Judge Ross's verdict when America's Court returns. You're watching America's Court with Judge Ross. This is America's Court with Judge Ross. Based on the evidence and the testimony before this court, the guy was going to come down in favor of the plaintiff. He did everything wrong. Mm -hmm. And you were smart. Know your rights. And you, as a land owner, you need to understand that there are tenants that know exactly what you are supposed to do. You got to follow the rules, and if you don't follow the rules, you got to pay the consequences. In this case, you're going to pay $864.62 to this lady. Pay up. Case closed. Judge Ross has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $864.62. I'm happy with the outcome, of course. Judge Ross, he knows his stuff. Uh, but I'm glad she's out of, out of my apartment building. She's a high maintenance lady. Follow America's Court on Facebook and Twitter. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.